Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas This is Trinity College London ISC1 B1 I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. Can I have your name, please? My name's Angelina. My name is Rehana Yasmin Mona. What's your title topic? My title topic is family. What are your four topic points? My four topic points are meeting out with family, watching TV with family, traveling with family, and also buying gift for family. What kinds of gifts do you like to buy for your family? I like to buy a traditional clothes for my mother and I like to buy a watch for my father and I like to buy jewelry for my sister and I like to buy some electronic device for my brother. All right. Uh, could you tell me about the places where you like to go with your family? Um. I like to go with my family uh, in a restaurant and sometimes we we'll go in some visiting place, a museum and have another place. Okay. What kinds of TV shows do you like to watch with your family? I like to watch a TV show with my family's comedy, film or drama. Okay. Could you tell me about an experience when you recently traveled with your family? I recently, I go with my family in a museum. And uh, uh, it's a second time I go museum uh, with my family. And uh, it's a nice experience because that, that, is, uh, that museum is a nice, very nice and outside. Uh, the two horse, I, I like horse, two horse and so many girls and their clothes is so nice, so pretty. And when I go uh, inside, that side, uh, so many people in the door for welcoming and uh, have some pictures for London, so many, uh, uh, the uh, uh, some pictures a queen and uh, have some another pictures and some uh, equipment. And I like this place. Right. Where do you usually like to eat out with your family? Usually I like uh, to, I like to go with my family in restaurant. Okay. What kind of food do you like to eat at the restaurant? Uh, I like to eat uh, fast food when I go outside with my family. Okay. Uh, could you tell me about any TV program that you think is not family friendly? Uh, have some movie. Uh, the, the, have some, uh, not full movie, have some scenes. It's not watch with my family because not comfortable and and have some uh, serial like uh, crim uh, criminal serials i think it's not um, watch with my family it's not good thank you so much this is the end of part one let's move further for part two this part two will decide what would be your final score for your speaking uh rehan are you ready yeah now, this is a topic of examiner's choice. This is a topic that I will choose for you. And I've chosen the topic, your favorite sports. What kind of sports do you like? I like uh, badminton and karim. How often do you play these sports? Uh, I Two, two days in a week, sometimes three days. Okay, and with who do you like to play? I, I play with my friends and sometimes I play with my cousins. 
do you think it is important to play sports for children? Yeah, it's important for children because it's uh, often uh, children play any any sport. Uh, it's a, it's a, a exercise for body and it's a fresh for mind. Okay. Uh, do you like any extreme sports? No, I don't like. Okay. And do you like the same sports that you liked in your childhood or has your choice changed now? Uh, childhood, uh, I first chose my cricket, but uh, when I uh, uh, finished my primary school and I joined high school, then I chose the badminton and pairing. Now, would you please? Now, would you please ask me two questions about sports? No. Okay. What kind of sport do uh, you like? I really like indoor sports. Okay. So do you uh, think indoor sport is safe for people? Yeah, I think I really like swimming and swimming is an indoor sport and I really enjoy it. I think it's pretty safe to swim indoors. Although there are swimming pools outside as well, outdoor as well, but I really enjoy swimming indoors it's safe okay so how many days in you just you... Two, two minutes are oh, okay. okay thank you thank you so much you have passed with the merit great questions good job this is independent listening task one rehana this one is for you part one i'll play the recording twice you have to listen to the recording and you can take your notes then I'll ask you six questions about the recording. ISE 1, listening task 1. The emu is one of the strangest birds on our planet. It's very large. In fact, it's the second tallest bird in the world and sometimes grows to be two metres high. It's found in Australia, where it lives in open country and avoids forests and towns. Emus can't fly, but they have very long legs, which means they can run very fast, up to 50 kilometers an hour. They travel a lot, especially in search of food. They feed on insects and plants, but can live without food and water for a long time. Both the male and the female emu are brown in color, which can make it difficult to see them. They also have very good eyesight, which helps them to escape from animals and birds that might attack them. The female lays many eggs in one year, but it's the male who sits on the eggs and looks after the young birds. Young emus reach full size after six months, and emus can live up to 20 years in the wild. ISE 1, listening task 1. The emu is one of the strangest birds on our planet. It's very large. In fact, it's the second tallest bird in the world and sometimes grows to be two metres high. It's found in Australia, where it lives in open country and avoids forests and towns. Emus can't fly, but they have very long legs, which means they can run very fast, up to 50 kilometres an hour. They travel a lot, especially in search of food. They feed on insects and plants, but can live without food and water for a long time. Both the male and the female emu are brown in colour, which can make it difficult to see them. They also have very good eyesight, which helps them to escape from animals and birds that might attack them. The female lays many eggs in one year, but it's the male who sits on the eggs and looks after the young birds. 
Young emus reach full size after six months, and emus can live up to 20 years in the wild. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions about the recording. Are you ready to answer? Yeah. Where do emus live? Uh, Australia. What kind of places do emus like living in? Um, very, uh, high. Oh. Can anyone else tell me where, what kind of places do emus like living? Like open, open country? Can see. That is absolutely correct. Okay. Open country. And uh, how fast can they run? Rihanna. If 50 kilometers, one hour. Okay. Per hour. That's right. Per, uh, per hour. Can you tell me something about... Can you tell me something that they eat? Um. What do emus eat? Can anyone else tell me? Emus eat uh, insect plant. That is correct. Rihanna, what color are emus? Brown color. What can you tell me about their eyesight? Eyesight is uh, attractive good. Thank you so much. This is independent listening task one, and you have passed it. We need at least three to four correct answers, and you have given three to four correct answers. Now it is yeah. time for part two of listening. Are you ready? We'll start with Rehana. Rehana, I'm going to share the screen. We're going to go okay. with part two of listening. Let's start, and we are going to go with part two. All right, now in this part of the listening, you are not allowed to take notes in the first section of listening. You can just take notes when the examiner will allow you, right? So I'm going to play a recording about Bhutan. You are not allowed to take any notes. You have to just tell me in few words, what is the information about, okay? Let's listen. Okay. ISC one, task two. Today, we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan. But amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? All right, Rehana, would you tell me in few words what is the recording about? Okay, this uh, record for a country, Bhutan, and uh, 8,000 people live in there. And uh, uh, this size 72% forest. And the people you use uh, uh, some plastic bags. And there are uh, uh, no traffic lights. And uh, few, uh, the few words means few words, Bhutan. 
Apologies, Rehana. Few words means few words. Okay. Don't try to go about it. You have to tell the summary of it, like the main idea, what it is about. Okay. Yeah. This recording is about Bhutan, different rules in Bhutan and how it looks. Yeah. Okay. You can also tell one or two, but the examiner specifically says just two or three, just few words. So then it is few words. Now you're allowed to take your notes. Please get your notebook and your pen and write down six facts from the recording. You have to tell me six facts from the recording. Let's play the recording once again. Today, we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan, but amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? Uh, Rehana, would you please tell me six facts about the recording? Uh, uh, the Bhutan inside uh, 8,000 people live in Bhutan, and those people use 24 languages. And envir environment about 72% in forest. And law protect for animals. And they are use plastic bags. And, uh, and no traffic light there. And uh, this side people uh, use traditional dress. And every year government uh, ask for happiness. Thank you so much. That is absolutely fine. Uh, now I'm going to ask you a few more questions. Um, what has the government done to protect animals? The law, law protect. Yeah, laws to protect law protect. animals. That is. Okay. So, what do the policemen wear? The white gloves. What is special about the cars in Bhutan? Uh, electric car. Okay, and what kind of bags are not allowed in Bhutan? What kinds of bags are not allowed in Bhutan? Ba bags. What kinds of bags are not allowed? The plastic bags. Yes, thank you so much. You have successfully passed your listening with a distinction. Okay, thank you. Not a distinction, I would say merit. Okay, good job. Very nice.